So what did you do for striking? You want you really want to know what I did? Yeah. You know the USC game. I would use Henan Barrow and um and and Jose Aldo, and I'll do stuff with them. I'd be like, oh yeah, this works in the game. So but Henan Barrow, you would and watch the video game. I would play the video game and be like, oh look at this. I would trade combination. I'd be like, oh yeah, this kind of works. So let's try it. <laughs> some mortality. Look at this. G'day gang and welcome back to the Between Bread show. I have been away, I was going to upload weekly this year, but my dad died. Let's make a Max Holloway. Max Holloway was born in Hawaii and given I'm not Hawaiian, I'm going to do the not Hawaiian thing when making Hawaiian food and that is start out with a pineapple. We're going to be making a spicy pineapple jam. To do this, remove the skin and give a rustic dice of your pineapple. Whenever you see food people say rustic, it means just kind of shit. You're feeling lazy, you're feeling rustic. Add your rustic pieces to a pot and then grab yourself a green chili. After the Action Bronson episode with that spicy jam, I haven't been able to make anything sweet without adding spice to it. So a green chili, cut up seeds in and in the pot. For every two parts of our pineapple added, we're gonna add one part of sugar and the zest and juice of one lemon. Now, this guy is going over to the stove to simmer. As the liquid begins to reduce, stirring more frequently as there is a lot of sugar in there and we do not want that burning to the bottom of the pot, should take about 15 to 20 minutes. While that does its thing, Max Holloway said in an interview that he loves Thai food. So let's make a Thai Nam Jim or Thai dipping sauce for our sandwich. To do this, grab yourself a bowl and to it we're going to add two green chilies and a red chili, finely minced and in they go. One large shallot, finely diced, should come to about a quarter of a cup. Two cloves of garlic, minced, a quarter of a cup of lime juice. This only took me one and a half limes because they were super juicy. Then we'll add a quarter of a cup of fish sauce. With any cats put away that may have been brought on by the fish sauce, into the bowl it goes. A quarter of a cup of chopped cilantro or coriander, another quarter of a cup of brown sugar, and the last quarter of a cup of water. Mix all the ingredients well to combine and that is it. And this stuff is very, very good. If you make anything from today's video, make this. With that all done, our pineapple jam has reduced beautifully and it's into a container and off to the fridge to set up. Now, you may be wondering where the actual sandwich is coming from in this episode and we're making a Hawaiian ham and cheese roll. To make these, we'll start off with making a brush for the top of the rolls. So in a bowl, I've got three tablespoons of melted butter. To that, we'll add one teaspoon of Dijon mustard, a dash of Worcestershire sauce, and then a good healthy couple of pinches of either poppy seeds or black sesame seeds. Now it is time to assemble our rolls. So grab them, cut them all open. If you're using all of them, don't separate them, cut them all apart. Then we're going in with a layer of Swiss cheese, a healthy layer of ham, another layer of Swiss cheese. The crown goes on, and then you want a container that isn't much bigger than your buns. We want to ensure that all the butter that runs off the top of the buns is absorbed by the bottom of the bun. Then these guys are off to a 180C or 350F oven for anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes. Just keep an eye on them. You don't want that top bun going too crusty. After them being in the oven for a minute or two, if you're like me, you forgot to put the jam on, so out they come, open them up, jam goes in, back in the oven. And once they are all done, out they come and look at that. Now, I made these the next day and I plan to make them a lot more in the future. The next time I'm hosting people, if I need something easy to whip out, these are what I'm whipping out. But how do they go with our Thai dipping sauce? Well, let's find out. All right, we are back. I've got to be a little quiet because there's a meeting going on. The Max Holloway. Wow. That is a home run. That might be the best ham and cheese sandwich you can make. 
fat. It is not spicy. It is super sweet, but also tangy and zesty and, and buttery. Oh my God, that pineapple jam is playing with that so well. I know we've been away a while, so maybe my memory is a bit, bit uh, off, but that's number one.